Hello everyone. I'm gonna try something new in this video, and if it does well and gets a positive response from you guys, I'll keep using this voice in my future videos, so let me know what you think about it in the comments. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about Mavuika. I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs on Discord about Mavuika's possible kit and release date, so in this video, let's discuss everything we know about her. The first half of the 5.0 trailer gives a brief overview of the current situation in Notlun, which is facing an impending crisis. The Abyss Order has been trying to exert its dominance over Notlan, and Mavuika mentions that the nation is very close to total devastation. It's in this situation that Il Capitano makes his appearance, and his opening words to Mavuika are, What use is the Gnosis in your hands? And so the question on everyone's mind is, is Mavuika the real Pyro Archon? To put it simply, she may or may not be. Here's the thing. We've learned some interesting things about the Archons from a data miner called Hom DGCat. They pointed out that the internal code names for the previous five playable Archons were their character names, like Venti, Zhongli, Raiden Shogun, Nahida, and Farina. So Hoyoverse didn't use their Archon names. But the test names for the Pyro Archon in the 5.0 data are Riding Test and Habarim, which is an Archon name so the character name Mavuka isn't there. According to Christian demonology, Habarim is a great duke of hell and is known to rule over 26 legions of hell. He's known for setting cities, castles, and great places on fire, making men witty in all ways, and giving true answers concerning private matters. He's depicted as a man with three heads, the first like a serpent, the second like a man with two stars on his forehead, and the third like a cat. He rides a viper and carries a lit firebrand in his hand, which he uses to set things ablaze. Sound familiar? At the end of the ignition teaser, we see Mavuika walking somewhere underground, and we see a fireball. Mavuika says it's time for it to burn again, which might indicate that Fireball is the real Pyro Archon, which means Mavuika might not be the real Pyro Archon. According to various rumors and theories, the real Pyro Archon is a male character. Some rumors suggest the real Pyro Archon is X Belonk, and I think that might be the case. We could be facing a situation similar to Fontaine, but not exactly the same, so Mavuika could be someone like Farina, a fake Archon. However, Mavuika will be released as a playable character at the end of Natlan's Archon Quest, just like Farina was released at the end of Fontaine's Archon Quest. One more thing, if you watched the 5.0 special program, you'd know that the developers said Natlan's Archon Quest will end in version 5.3. So we'll get the first two acts in version 5.0, the third and fourth act in 5.1, and the remaining acts in version 5.3. This means we won't get any Archon Quest in version 5.2, just like we've seen in the past. So Mavuika is pretty much confirmed to release in version 5.3, if you're waiting for X Belunk, well, you'll have to wait a bit longer, because according to data miners, he'll be released around version 5.5 or 5.6. As for her kit, Uncle K has shared some potential details, and according to those, Mavuika will be both an on-field and off-field sub-DPS character. Her kit will include mechanisms that will increase the entire team's survivability, suggesting she'll be an excellent support or hybrid unit She's expected to be like a five-star version of Shangling, but way better. I've already made a separate video about her kit, so check that out if you're interested. Meanwhile, X Balanki is rumored to be a support or buffer unit. Like Mavuika, data miners have compared him with another four-star pyro character, Bennett. It seems like he may be capable of buffing his as well as other party members' attack stats. Considering most playable characters in Genshin scale off the attack stat, x may end up excelling in the game's meta. Anyway, that's everything I wanted to say about whether or not Mavuika is the real Pyro Archon and her release date. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more.